Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, in this video today I will teach you how to create smooth spline animation with using guys I use animator, matrix and tracer. So firstly guys, I create some composition. So guys, I take plane and I increase plane size. Breadth size I take randomly like 4000 and height I take same 4000. Yeah. And second, guys I take cube. Yes. And I increase cube size, X size same, guys 4000, 4000, yes, and decrease height, this one, guys height I take like 10, yeah, and up, guys Y axis I take like 20, like this, right, okay, so guys now I take one more cube so you can copy this cube so press ctrl c and v yes and change also this z size last one like this so guys i go to display select all shading lines yeah right and y axis increase i take like 20 and go on here guys x size take minus 100 and copy this cube press ctrl c and v guys i create simple path that's my path right see okay so guys my path is complete simple and now i create animation so firstly guys i take this time animator yeah and go on here like this Guys, X position, I take like 1000. Yeah. And rotate. Guys, rotate minus 90 degree. And up. Yes. Okay, so guys, one more time, I take cube. And this time, cube size, this one, cube size, I take 10 centimeter. 10, 10, and 10. Yes. See guys, that's my cube size. And now, Select this one cube and make child with emitter. Yeah. And guys, select this emitter. And uh, guys, go to emitter. And X size and Y size, I take 0 and 0. Yes. And guys, again, go to particle. And birth editor, I take guys 5, 5. Yeah. And guys, I create animation. So, I increase frame. Frame, I take like 700. Yes. Right. Okay, so guys, go to here, stop animation, stop animation, I take simple 400 frames, 400, yeah, and show object check. So guys, go to back and play, yeah, see guys, that's my simple animation. So stop, guys, now select this animator and up like this, y axis, I take like 250. Yeah, and play. Yeah, better. Right? Okay, so guys, now I apply rigid body and collider tag. So select this one, this one cube, and right click simulation tag and use collider body. And uh, guys, go to bounce, I take zero, and friction, I take simple 100. Yeah. And guys, go to here, that's my cube, emitter cube. And this time, I apply rigid body tag and guys same bounds I take zero and friction is good and guys go to here force follow position I take one and follow rotation I take 50 yes and play see guys right that's my animation okay so guys stop all is good now I go to top view panel and guys, that's my emitter. Select this emitter and go on here. 
that's my right side so guys i go to chord and p dot z i take 70 centimeter 70 and press this animation key yes right okay so guys now i go to 40 frame 40 and p dot z i take minus 70 and press this animation key guys i go to 80 frame 80 and same take 70 and check see guys that's my animation right i show you go to back and play yeah right see guys it's so easy okay now guys create copy this animation key so go to window and go to timeline f curve and create full guys see that's my graph editor so select all and press ctrl and shift key and copy yes guys copy yeah and more yes right guys see that's my animation go to 400 frames and you can delete this extra part like this simple so play see guys right it's so easy okay so guys now stop guys i create this slice animation so select this cube and go to top view panel and guys select this cube and i go to here see guys i create animation like this so press this animation key and guys i go to 700 frames and p dot z i take like 2500 and check yes and play okay so guys i change keyframe so select window and take f time curve tool and select all right and click on here that's my liner yeah create shape like this so guys go to back and play see guys that's my animation see that's really beautiful right guys it's my final animation yeah great okay so guys now you can create one more more frames like 800 800 and create full select this keyframe and 800 yes and play right see guys okay all is good yeah this one is much better yeah very nice so guys now that's my camera angle and take camera and select this camera and lock camera angle and take protection simple yes okay so guys now i take matrix so this time i go to more graph and take matrix this one yes and select this matrix and i go to object mode i take object and select this emitter drag and drop in object yeah and guys distribution type i take axis simple guys and play yes okay guys you can hide this cube emitter cube that's my cube hide and hide on render simple yes better right guys this tutorial is little bit tricky yeah okay so guys stop now guys this time select this matrix and use last time tracer yes and uh, guys tracer mode i take connect all object yeah and create smoothness see guys that's not smooth 
सो टाइप आई टेक बी स्प्लाइन या एंड इंटरमीडिएट पॉइंट आई टेक नेचुरल एंड नंबर आई टेक एट एट इज बेटर सो प्ले सी गाइज दैट्स माई स्प्लाइन इट्स रियली स्मूथ राइट इट्स रियली गुड ओके सो गाइज ऑल इज गुड नाउ आई क्रिएट ठीक ना सो आई अप्लाय सर्कल सो सर्कल दिस वन एंड सर्कल रेडियस आई टेक टेन सेंटीमीटर एंड दिस टाइम लास्ट वन आई टेक स्वैप टूल सो गाइज सेलेक्ट दिस ट्रेसर एंड सर्कल एंड मेक चाइल विथ स्वैप यस एंड प्ले या सी गाइज दैट्स माय स्प्लाइन दैट्स रियली स्मूथ right it's really smooth guys okay so guys circle intermediate point i take natural yeah and play guys again you can hide this matrix hide and hide on render yeah better guys you can increase more smoothness so you can apply सब डिविजन सर्फेस इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी बट यू कैन अप्लाई सब डिविजन सर्फेस फॉर मोर स्मूथनेस यस एंड प्ले सो हाइड लाइन्स या सी गाइज राइट ओके नो नाउ गाइज आई ऑलरेडी क्रिएट मैटीरियल आई अप्लाई मैटीरियल सो लोड मैटीरियल एंड गाइज दैट्स माई प्रोजेक्ट फाइल you can download this project file from my website it's free so apply on swap that's my gold material and apply material guys i change uv i take cubic and cubic yes and last one that's my flow material guys this material is much better so go to back and play yeah i really like this animation guys that's really smoothness guys this animation also satisfaction animation yeah great okay so guys my animation is finished now i go to render setting guys simple render setting ambient occlusion maximum temp 1 to 8 accuracy 100% and ambient occlusion all is good global illumination indirectly catch i take low anti select best and guys go to save and take jpeg sequences create new folder create new folder and take any file name output you can take all frame and that's my hd size so close and render right Okay, so guys, uh, now it's not visible. So apply sky, and that's my sky material. And right click, compositing tab, and scene by camera uncheck, and go to back, and render. Yeah, see guys, that's my render. Okay, so guys, that's it. It's my simple splines. Smooth animation is finished. Now, if you like my video, please share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.